Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, this is the first S650 manifold installed on F150. And we've been running this setup now for going on close to a month. Um, I'm just terrible at uploading. I'm terrible at editing. So we have been running this intake now for close to a month. Ah, about three weeks. Three, yeah, three weeks I would say. Three weeks to a month. So I've been daily driving it. No issues. You can't even tell that it has a dual intake. A dual throttle body intake on it. So daily driving, fantastic. But now the real question is, is it worth it? That's the real question. Is it worth it? Now, if you're coming from the stock truck intake, no brainer, it's, it's worth it. I don't even have data on this and I can tell you that, that it's worth it over the stock truck intake. But is it better than the GT, a Porta Boss, or a Cobra Jet? And that's all to be learned. We, we don't know. We honestly don't know at this point. One thing that we do know, according to the dynos that have been out there from uh, Wagner Performance, is that this carries a little bit farther out into the RPM, 7,500 RPMs. Now, that is perfect for us because we shift this white truck at 7,400 RPMs. So one thing to note, we are not gonna be changing our shift points our shift points are still going to be at 7400 rpm we're not going to add any more timing to this dual throttle body so same timing and same shift points now i do got data on our 18 to 23 gt intake with the ram air and that intake and that ram air combo was good for eight man 880s in zero da and 930s and 1500 da and honestly guys, the reason why I haven't got to test this intake is because like a heat wave came through Texas. It's early February and it was literally 89 degrees today. But tomorrow a cold front's coming through and it'll be 65 degrees tomorrow. And then it's gonna be 55 degrees the next day. So perfect weather for us to get this intake tested. That'll be roughly 1500 DA at 65 degrees and roughly zero DA when it goes down into the low 50s. So same, same DA that we ran our GT intake in. All right, guys. So pricing, a lot of S650 guys are getting rid of these intakes for cheap. When they go to Whipples, they get rid of this setup. I'll tell you right now, I got this setup for a hundred bucks. Everything that you see here, Joel, dual intakes uh factory pcv fuel rails throttle bodies injectors map sensor everything i got everything for 100 dollars. now one thing to note is you will have to be removing these lines So we're not gonna need those. Factory Ford connection, uh, your brake hose, and just cap off this one down here, which you're not gonna be able to see, but just cap that off so you won't have a vacuum leak. Good thing about this intake is it already has a map sensor in the rear. So for the F-150 guys, just pull this off, put in your factory intake. I'm sorry your factory map center it also comes with imrc's just delete those and that's it the main thing is going to be your harness now i wish i could show you guys how to make the harness but if you don't contact five star tuning i'm sure they can hook you up with the harness that's where i got my harness from my tuner shout out to five star tuning another thing that you're going to want to figure out is your intakes luckily ours came with them but you really don't want to be picking up hot air for performance inside the engine so what we did was run a ram air from the passenger side and this rinky dink open element tiny guy that i bought on sale for literally two dollars and fifty cents so this is gonna hinder performance a little bit. So this is not a, the full potential of this kit. The full potential would be dual ram airs out the front. 
Um, I did not want to spend money on dual ram airs because I'm a little cheap. This is remember, this is not my my main truck. So dual four inches. I did not want to spend the money. I only had enough uh, parts laying around for a single ram air. But in time, I really would like to run dual three and a half inches, and I think that would be the optimal performance for this truck. But tomorrow we're going to start getting data on our unported 18 to 23 GT intake with the Ram Air versus this unported S650 intake. And we'll see where we're going to stand. Same shift points, same timing, and in the same DA as the S as the uh, 18 to 23 GT intake. So you don't need to modify the intake to fit. It literally bolts right in. Now you will have to, and you ain't gonna be able to see this, but you're gonna notice right away when you when you try to put this intake on. There is this this line right here. The uh, is it the water net? This line will be hitting your throttle body. So we just slightly bent that this way to give it a, some space. Another thing, the F one fifty evap hose. Does not need to be modified. Plug and play. Brake hose for your brake booster. We just have to run a simple uh, line there. So no issue there. And that's it, guys. So here you can see the we ran a ram air to the passenger side. Four inch ram air on the passenger side. Three and a half inch open element on the driver's side. So not optimal, like I was saying. But this is all we got right now. So we're gonna give it a try, see how it compares. I personally think it's gonna be performed better than our unported 18 to 23 GT intake. I do not care if it's gonna lose power down low. Guys, when you're racing these F-150s, they're never gonna see any RPM below 6,000, only in the that first, shit, I don't even know. Probably the first 20, first 30 feet. Other than that, it's 6,000 and beyond. Honestly, probably like 6,500 and beyond. I need to get a video of this tat to see if it even drops below 6,500 on the shift points. So, according to Wagnar, according to Wagnar performance, this intake carries out the peak power where the factory 18 to 23 GT intake starts dropping around, was it, what was it, like 6,800 if I remember right off memory? So that split up there between 68 to 7500 is where this intake is going to shine. So in theory, which doesn't always work, in theory this intake should perform better on a Gen 3 truck than an 18 to 23 manifold. It should. Gen 3. You know, we were already shifting shifting the 18 to 23 intake at 7400 RPMs. But we're going to see. We're going to see where this intake lands in the next couple of days. I've been waiting for this day. It's been hot, but like I said, a cold front is coming through. So we're going we're gonna to get some draggy numbers. I'll put up the draggy of the, uh, of the old 18 to 23 intake. That way y'all can see that. Update on the red truck. We did get 355 gears installed. But like I said... A heat wave came through so we have not been able to test it hopefully that drops our 60 foot and we can go from high 17s to low 16s red truck has gone 1149 1148 at 121 so hoping we don't lose any mile per hour but if we lose one i'm okay with that because the first the eighth mile is what matters more than the quarter mile if if you're faster to the eighth mile you're gonna be faster in the quarter mile. So we gotta get that 60 foot down. Hopefully we can go into the one sixes, but I'm not quite sure because we still don't have traction bars on that truck. So hopefully guys, I gotta get this data out there for y'all to see. Um, like I said, I've been daily driving it, no issues, but it's time to make some pulls in some good weather and comparable weather to our old intake that we can start getting some data out there. I got a feeling this intake on a Gen 3 is gonna be superior to the 18 to 23 GT intake. And for the price that, that, I, that I'm able to pick up these for, 100 bucks, if you can pick one up, even for $200, I'll 
I would say that that's a heck of a deal. I mean, I think it's time to start getting some data out. If you ever need a tune, hit up Five Star. Uh, they've tuned all three of my trucks, no issues. <laughs> and, to be, and to be honest, uh, my red truck, that truck, that truck went 1190s on the stock, stock truck intake. Um, didn't even have long tubes. It's gone 1140s now. Oh, the coyotes are howling. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I hope you guys can hear that. Uh oh, the coyotes are getting close, guys. I do live out in the country, so the coyotes are howling right now. Um, Kind of lost my train of thought. Jeez, I hope you guys can hear that. I hear them all the time. Every, basically almost every night, but today they sound a little closer than normal. Huh, lost my train of thought. So, if you need a tune, guys, hit up Five Star. They've been, they've, they've been great to me. Oh, this is, this is where I was going. Guys, this red truck still has the original first file that he sent me um and my buddy octavio does have a new tune for me to, to load up but man just just being lazy and finding time <laughs> i just i still have not got the retune i mean it's still the original file which is now what god at least it's a couple of years old now so we got to get the new tune loaded on there maybe it'll pick up some down low maybe it'll pick up some mile per hour maybe it'll drive a little bit better so so shout out to five star if you need a tune, don't do not hesitate to hit them up. Great, great group of guys out there. Fantastic tuning. And they're the ones that I got the harness from. Just so y'all can see what I got for a hundred bucks. One more time. Guys, these throttle bodies. Same part number that the Gen 3s run. Same injectors, same fuel rails, same bolt pattern, literally drops right in. Is it gonna be better than the GT? I think so. Is it gonna be better than a ported boss? That, I don't know. So, well, that's the end of this video, guys. Hopefully, I, I, I almost feel like I went too fast in this video. But there's really not much to it. It just literally drops right in. You'll figure out the rest. The rest is not very difficult. Um, so hopefully, stick around. Watch for the next video. Hopefully, I can get that video uploaded here soon and I'm stop being lazy. It's, it's, honestly, it's not that I'm lazy. I'm, I'm just super busy all the time. So in the background, I'll be doing my draggy hits and I'll have my the data for myself. And hopefully, I can uh, share that data with you all, with y'all guys. That way, if it is worth it, we'll find out. And if it's not, well, then it's not. No big deal. So, till next time, guys. And watch out for that next video.